Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy here and it is Sunday today. I don't know what date it is. Oh, 2nd of April, Sunday. And I thought I would take you through an update of what I eat in a day because you've been asking me since my last video on my health update, kind of how my diet has changed, what I mean has changed, and it's changed pretty drastically. So over the years, you guys have seen me make my favorite breakfast in the world, which is a bagel a day and eggs. That is literally my favorite breakfast. But since being diagnosed with autoimmune, I've had to completely change the way I perceive food and what I eat, which is really, really heartbreaking. I never wanted to be the person who had to cut out food groups. I never wanted to be the person who would go to a restaurant and ask for all these different things. I just always believed that you could have everything but it turns out some things that I was consuming were completely flaring me up. And the types of flares that I was getting when I was eating these foods were severe bloating, severe IBS, my face would swell, my joints would swell to the point where I would struggle to even open a bottle of water because it was just too hard and my joints felt just crunchy and weak. My energy would go up and then it'd be completely going down. I'd find myself literally being in the office, it'd hit about 2.30 p.m. and I'd have a complete plateau, no energy at all and actually really hard to keep my eyes open. I had to go obviously check myself out and then it turns out I can't have any milk, I can't have any whey, I can't have eggs. The egg white in particular was flaring me up more than I thought. I can't have almonds, which was a complete shock to me. Like I don't know where all the almond situation came from. And gluten, gluten was one of the things that was flaring me up the most. Casein as well with milk. My diet's completely changed. I cannot have the supplements I was having. I cannot have the breads and the bagels that I was having. So it's been a really hard adjustment. So anyone watching this that's had to readjust their complete diet um, because they have an autoimmune or because they have any other disease, I feel you, it is so hard because you're really just trying to re-navigate how your habits have been. So instead of opting for a normal slice of bread, you've got to go for gluten and then you've got to find one that you like. But look, all is good, all is fine. And I hope this video gives you some inspo for some new recipes and some new ideas if you're struggling. I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day through and through and some of the adjustments that I've been making that have really, really been helping. But one thing I will say is that I have felt so much less bloated and I have so much more energy and I can't believe that just making such slight adjustments have made such a big impact. So without further ado, here is breakfast and I hope this video inspires you. For breakfast, we are having some gluten-free toast. I'm making some chicken sausages. These ones here for me and Brett. I'm gonna whack some avocado on top, some baked beans, which are high in protein, high in protein, some fruit as well. So I'm getting my vitamin C here, my healthy fats there, protein here, protein there, and also just some carbs. So I'm gonna do this all up and you're gonna see what it looks like in a minute. Look at her guys. Why are you smiling, little plum? Can you get me up, Brett? Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> Justin Bieber, is that you? This hair. Justin Bieber! <laughs> Mom, sing the song. No, is it too late now to say sorry? <laughs> Yesterday, um, I was like to Brett, oh my God, your hair looks like Justin Bieber because he's growing his hair out. And he was like, leave me alone, leave me alone. And I was like, Brett, it's, it's, you're just going for a face. Like, if you're growing your hair out, it's obviously going to look a certain way for, for a hot minute until you can style it. And all of a sudden, my mum started singing Justin Bieber. I need to insert the clip because you're actually going to die. Like, it's iconic. I'm going to insert the clip now. Is it too late now to say sorry? Sorry. Because I miss just to know your body. How is it? 
I love you. Oh, I love you. You're you're beautiful. Look at me. As you can see, my mum and me together. It's, it's low key giving bully vibes. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I look back at that, I'm like, I'm actually really mean. But the thing is, Brett gives it back, so he can take it and give it back, and we give it back to each other. So it's all good. But I support the hair growth. I'm the one who encouraged it. I think he's gonna look 10 10 when he does it. Either way, he looks good with short or any type of hair. Just because I maybe it's because I've got like love heart eyes, and I just love him, and I love how he looks. Let's see. Anyways, right. I need to get ready for the gym. I'm going to meet Meg B, who is. A really close friend of mine she's also an honor active athlete she comes down once in a while in london and we like to train together or i go up to see her just because we like change of scenery and we want to train together so i don't know what outfit to wear this is the issue with owning your own active wear brand you think you know what you want to wear but and you have so many options sometimes it actually clouds your judgment so i'm doing legs let me just check if the fake tan looks okay yeah, okay, I can I can show a bit of skin. Oh. What do we want to wear? What colour? Okay, so what I'll do is the outfit combo I pick, I will gift one of you it. So just comment down below your Instagram handle. And if you want the set, I will gift you the set that I decide to wear today. I think what I want to wear is some timeless shorts. I love the timeless shorts more than the timeless leggings because it's catch-22. We wanted to do a different length waistband just because everything in the market is high-waisted so I wanted to try a mid-rise and for some people it fits perfectly on them but for other people it doesn't fit right and then because they're adjusting it it just doesn't look right in places so we've made the adjustment and we've made the changes they're coming in June so what I want on the website is to have a mid-rise or like a regular rise and then a high-waisted rise so then you can opt for different ones so deep taupe and then what am I going to pair it with? Oh gosh, this is where I don't want a deep taupe with deep taupe. Orange looks quite nice, although I just said I like neutral colours, but here we are. Orange looks quite nice with deep taupe. So we have peach blossom or spice. That looks really nice. And then I could do a white trainer with some white socks. Mm, a bit aggressive. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to surprise you. Brett, I'm not standing on your back. He's standing on it. I'm not standing on your back. It's got weird now. He wants me to stand on his back. You know, if anything goes wrong, I'm not liable. Brett, I'm really scared to stand on it. Stand on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Walk up it. Oh, feel that. But does this even feel right? I cracked it. Oh, it's oh. Get off it now. Oh. <laughs> Come on, get up. Come That's on. Good. Yeah? Stand on my. <laughs> Okay, so I picked my outfit. So we went for the everyday black sports bra. Mum, come out, it's fine. She's hiding away, bless her. And then the deep taupe timeless leggings, my Evolve U socks, and then this brand new t-shirt, graphic tee, that we have coming to Honor Active. It's the collector's, um, hold on, let me show you. Okay, so here's the fit. It's a completely different material, completely different fit super super oversized i mean this is a small and it's super oversized in the back it says honor your body and then the honor is the one that's predominant in the other t-shirt the your is the one that's predominant and the final one the body is the one that's predominant so then it's a collector's club tee so i'm wearing this fit so i'm going to gift someone this entire fit just let me know down below if you want it and just put your instagram handle and then i'll gift you i popped on a bit of makeup just because i felt a little bit lifeless so it just brought me back to life and i'm going to grab my water bottle have a little bit of a pre-workout and then head over to the gym. I am a giant, stand up on my shoulders, what you see. I am, is it that one? Yeah. I am, I am a giant. Stand up on my shoulders. Albania's got talent. Why have you hanged it like that? Because she wanted to laugh. So she's got this thing hanging out of her bag. This, like, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, it, it takes a lot for me to like anything with glitter. As you can see, I'm like the most boring person. So she's head to toe in Honor Active. So it's the equation of her juicy couture. She's got her little LV bag. Look at her posing. Her little no. Air Forces. Mum, mum, you're living in your 20s still, honey. Uh -huh. Why not? Why not? Why not? Life is too short. Okay. Okay, yeah, life is too short. Come on, my son. Son in love, come on. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. No kiss.
No kiss for me, both of you. One, two. Thanks guys, bye. Have fun together, they're food shopping together. So I'm like, have fun together. So, um, can you get me some of those cakes, the gluten free ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, uh, get both flavors, so. The cherry and the <sighs> Yes, cake. please. Oh. Guys, I got Brett's mum a birthday cake, because it was her birthday. So she came down, look at this cake. Do you know how exciting it is looking at that? I can smell it from here, I can taste it in the air. Can't have it. Temptation everywhere. I can't deal with temptations everywhere. I can't deal. just came back home for oh my god so i've just come back home as you can see from the gym mum's cooked for me mum's staying with me so let's see what she got oh jesus no. mum what you've what? wow mum all no, these mom. veggies mm, rice oh <gasps> oh my god look at that spinach can't have that it's got egg in it yeah but no you can have the no 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 Rice, chicken, broccolina. Oh, by the way, guys, I bought this pan. <laughs> guys, this is the best pan I have ever bought in my life. I'm gonna buy a second. It's that good. It was quite expensive. It was like 150 pounds for a pan. So I was like, oh my God, that's so expensive. When I'm telling you, this pan is like, Craps on every other pan. I'm gonna get you one, Mum. Um, okay, but when I use that in oven, it smelled a little bit. And I Why would you put that pan in the oven? <laughs> because it's metal and it, the food do is, is very good on that when you do it in oven. But it's a pan. It's not it doesn't a... matter. If you've got a metal pan, you can oh, stick it in oven. Oh, okay. All righty then. Oh, I bought some Nespresso pods. Oh yeah, just yeah. about time. Thank about you. About time, Mum. So we bought some. Oh. They they had a ration and they didn't have much Nespresso's, but no, I bought different flavours. They didn't have the flavour I like. But we'll make a little no, coffee. 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 Did you guys get me some coconut milk? He's gonna get you didn't one. get me any coconut milk. Uh, no, it's um, no, it's almond milk. Can not have almond? It's a water coconut. Milk. Oh. Yeah, go and get some. No loving for you tonight. Oh, Make it play. I'm gonna eat is some coconut yogurt, berries, honey, and natural peanut butter. There's a few things that I've been switching up that are quite delicious and they don't have any of the ingredients that I can't have. So I discovered, well, Brett discovered these bars for me. Do you know what annoys me? It says the word keto on it and it really angers me because I just don't believe in any of those types of diets, but they are pretty good. They're plant-based, they're chocolate, fudge and peanut. They don't have any dairy in it, any milk, any whey in it, so they're quite good. So I eat one of these every day as well. And then I've been having some built on as well, which is high in protein and a great snack as well. There's these bounce balls as well, which are quite good. These ones are good, especially you have to get the ones that are the millionaire ones because they are plant-based, so I can have those. 
other snacks you can have are like popcorn and actual crisps or potato chips in American terms that just have potato, olive oil or sunflower oil and salt. Any other ingredients you can't read, just don't go for it because then you're not gonna know what's in it. I've been having gluten-free oats, which is quite good and gluten-free cereal as well. So I have that as a little snack as well. So those are the snacks I've found so far that I enjoy that are quite good. Why are you cracking up? Why do you always crack up when I'm speaking in the camera? I haven't mentioned your coconut milk yet. <laughs> Listen guys, like I actually need you to let me know if I've been out of order because I really don't think I have. But anyway, go on, give me a kiss. Come on. Come here! Don't run away from me. <laughs> well, you're asleep. <laughs> you're asleep. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> oh, guys. Meg goes to me. What did you have for breakfast today? I go, oh, I have a free chicken sausage. She goes, is it the heck ones? And I go, yeah, why? She goes, you know, they've got cheese in them. I'm like, no, they don't. She goes, yeah, they do. So I'm reading the ingredients. <laughs> I'm reading them all. Can I have that? Can I have that? And then it says, What the heck did it have to do with my name? <laughs> <laughs> Can you read that? I am done. The thing is, I didn't check it because I just saw chicken sausages. Why in God's name does a chicken sausage need mozzarella in it? And it had mozzarella in it. You know, that's why my, my belly hurt a bit and I didn't know what it was. But I do think 1% is a reach. Is, this is chocolate ice cream. I don't like chocolate. <laughs> this woman, my mum, wearing my Skims robe, <laughs> first of all. Like, I can't have that. It's got almonds in. So I bought it and then I read it and I was like, I can't have that. It's got almond milk. Yeah, but you knew I didn't like chocolate. But I didn't buy it for you. Ah. And also, do you want to tell everyone what your diet's been like today? My mum's diet, she wakes up, coffee, 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 no breakfast. <laughs> then what does she have? Massive loaf of bread, olives, <laughs> and cheese. Then she has a fat slice of chocolate cake that I couldn't have. And now she's diving into <laughs> chocolate ice cream. Ben and Jerry. That she doesn't like. That she doesn't like, but watch her ram it down. <laughs> ben and Jerry. That's nice, actually. Oh my God. And then this one behind me is buttons. Stop being such a beg. Enough That's now. Nice. Come on, get away. Come on, girl. Come on. You're a good there. girl. She has a strawberry sweet nanny. And she had olives. Do you want some ice cream? No, mom, she can't have chocolate. Okay. <laughs> what about some strawberry? You know what, guys? I think this video is coming to an end. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I hope that it gave you some inspo. Don't buy the Hex sausages and be an idiot like me. And I'm convinced some of the cakes I had this afternoon had egg in it. But again, trace, a trace of egg, not, not a big deal. But it's hard because I actually now I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I even eat? I'm trying to figure it out slowly and surely, but we will get there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Would you eat the beans? Did you make that? I did. I'm going. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm